you know, in the last two years, we've, you know, gone into the charity thing. We've loved it so much and we've got so much return from it. And, and uh, uh, that that's kind of where it's heading from now on. You know, we have this organization that is more than softball. Just like extra innings, it's more than softball. It, it, it's about, you know, getting old and getting old gracefully. First impression, you're like, he's crazy. He's just out of control. And is there a mute button on this guy? He's a f***ing one of a kind. He's definitely a one of a kind. But bottom line is that guy will give you a shirt off his back. And I don't know that many people like that. Yeah, I thought he was a nut. And, uh, you know, I've grown to really love this guy. You know, he's uh, he's got his game face on, and some of us do. I tell you something. You know, you want somebody to stand in your corner, that's the man you want to stand in your corner. It is truly what you see is an act. Oh, what, 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 what? I would describe him as very intense, very driven, very passionate about softball and things that he really enjoys doing. His family as well. Mean. He is absolutely crazy. He cares a lot about everyone and he does everything to help others. Me. I love him one day, next day I hate him. He's not really mean, he just, everybody thinks he's mean. He's softy. Again, intense. He is very intense. Probably too intense. Very meaningful to us, the team, particularly. Is he trying to take credit for all this thing? It's the man, I'm the man behind the plan. I remember him always like auditioning for uh, like reality shows and things. He always wanted to like his voice to be heard. I don't know what this fascination with him is about the reality show. He got a couple of interviews for Survivor and some of the videos he did to get in some of these shows were a little different. You know a lot of times people that are you know are loud like that don't have the game to back it up but when he has the game to back it up you know, that puts him in a different category. And I think to continue to, to do what he's doing, you know, closing in on, on 68, 70 years old, yeah, I think it's pretty impressive. That's why I'm hated by half the country. You know why? Because we win most of the time. And I think there are a lot of people lately in the last probably 10 years that have come around and said, said I never knew the real you. I always thought you were a real jackass, and I hated you. I was a street kid from New Jersey. Um, father died when I was 12. Um, never cried at his funeral. You, you know, when, you, when you're in New Jersey, you don't want to cry much because, it's, you know, where I lived, you had to be tough. And uh, unfortunately, I developed a um, fight or flight that everybody has. Well, you know, my deal was fight. You know, I don't think growing up we said, uh, I love you a lot, but we loved each other. You know, he showed it in different ways. He, he was gone a lot. He missed a lot of birthdays, a lot of holidays. He was gone a lot. I mean, he was there as well, but he was, he missed a lot. I had no idea what kind of dad I was because I had no, you know, now you, you got to stop for a minute. I didn't have any uh, uh, role model. My Grammy kind of like raised him, like he, cause he had he had a tough childhood, and when he when she passed, everyone kind of just like we kind of all lost it, I guess you could say, and it it was really tough on him. Grammy has had so much effect on my grandpa, and just the person that he is, you can tell that Grammy was helped him become that person. Like he's doing with Dionis and Brian, she did that with him. You know, my mother-in-law was a, 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 just a prince of a lady. She was the most giving person. Um, I'm going to try to get through this without, uh, you know, uh, you know. She said, "I want to give you something before I go," and I learned that from her. And it was tough. The, probably the toughest disease in the world is uh, when you lose your memory. When he did my mother's memorial service, he broke down so many times that 
I don't think anybody could believe it. But it was like he, she was like a mother to him. That 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 is a real touchy subject, as you as you know. Um, but uh, she was a special person. How did it affect me? Um, I wish I could live my life like her. You know, a giving person. As a young man, I dreamed of being a professional baseball player, as do most. I became a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, a guardian of two boys from the Dominican Republic. I'm playing with some great athletes you know, on Team Hollis who give back because they've been so blessed. Never dreaming that I would meet the love of my life as a young man and spend 53 years together, and now we're battling cancer together. That's what I call life, and I'm not changing a minute of it. Whenever the talk turns to Space Coast softball, Ed Rose's name pops up as quick as a fly ball. In fact, many people think Ed Rose is Space Coast softball, for the Melbourne resident has been unwavering in his passion for the game and its potential to help youth. Rose grew up in southern New Jersey, but his heart definitely belongs to the Space Coast. He can thank his mom for that because she enrolled the then 15-year-old Rose in Florida Air Academy from where he graduated in 1965. Florida Air Academy changed my life, said Rose. FAA even helped Rose land the love of his life, for he met his wife Cheryl at a school dance and married her six months after his high school graduation. Although the athletic Rose, who lettered in football, basketball, and baseball while at FAA, had been offered college scholarships for baseball and football, he opted instead to go into the corporate world. I was offered $10,000 a year with North American Rockwell at the Cape, he said. That was a lot of money back then. He earned his bachelor's degree by attending night school, graduating with honors in organizational management from Warner Southern College. At 18 and working full time, he picked up a sport for off-hours entertainment, softball. He hasn't stopped playing in five decades. A master at the art of hitting, Rose was inducted into the National Senior Softball Hall of Fame in 1999. As a player and manager, he has earned more than 55 all-world nominations and has played in 121 national titles and seven world championships. As executive director of the Florida Senior Sports Association, Rose has orchestrated the group's Feeding the Dream program, which has donated more than 8,000 pieces of sports equipment to impoverished children of the Dominican Republic. The group also provided scholarships for two Dominican teens to attend FAA. Ed and Cheryl have opened their home and heart to the two teens who live with them while attending FAA. Rose credits Cheryl, who is currently battling cancer, for his ultimate success in life on and off the softball field. You really don't play this game without the support of your wife, he said. A 2015 inductee into the Space Coast Sports Hall of Fame, Ed Rose.